Welcome to another video on our Embedded Craft channel. In this video tutorial we are talking about using SPI in Linux. We will start with introduction to SPI. And, next we will demonstrate working on Mac 7219 Serial Interface LED Driver. We will demonstrate character display on LED matrix. And later we will write C code for Mac 7219 chip. So, relaxed and watch this video till the end. You will be requiring a single board computer running Linux. One important point, board should have SPI interface. We are using Raspberry Pi version 4 board. You can choose any version of board. We also need a LED display module. We are using a generic module having Mac 7219 connected to LED matrix module. And some connecting cables and Ethernet cables. You can refer these two videos. In this video we are showing using GPIO pin in Linux. And in this second video, you will learn using I2C devices in Linux. Link to the both videos is given in the description. SPI is Serial Peripheral Interface Protocol. SPI interface involve three or two wires. Three wire interface is faster than two wire interface. SPI is a master slave configuration. Master device will start communication and provide clock to slave device. Data is transferred on each clock. Data can travel in both direction. That means from master to slave and slave to master. SPI device speed can be up to 60 megabits per seconds. Now the question may be where SPI interface is used. Many sensors chips are having SPI interface. For example, thermal monitoring and pressure monitoring systems. And SPI is also used in NORFLASH interface. Let us talk about SPI interface lines. There are four lines. This is SCLK clock line. Clock is generated by SPI master. SCLK line is output line from master. For data transfer there will be two lines. One is Muzzy. Muzzy is master out and slave input. Data is sent from master to slave. This second data line is MISO. That is master in and slave out. Means, data will be transferred from slave to master. And there will be a chip select line. We need to enable chip select line to select SBI slave device. Chip select line is generally active low. There are two configurations. Number one, independent configuration. And number two, daisy chain configuration. These configurations depend on how the chip select line is wired. Let us focus on independent configuration. You see the chip select line of each SBI device is wired independently. And data lines common to all SBI devices. We will able to use multiple devices on same SBI interface. You can connect multiple sensors to the same SBI interface. Let us move to the second configuration. This is daisy chain configuration. Chip select is common. Output of one SBI device will be input to the next SBI device. MISO line of one SBI is connected to Muzzy line of next SBI device. This will enable one SBI device to send data to the next SBI device. All SBI devices together will form a big shift register. Scroll message display is the example of daisy chain configuration. Let us see how to access SPI device in Linux. In Linux IOCTL system call is used. Help on this system call is available in Linux man pages. Basically you need to open SPI device using open call. Pass handle to IOCTL system call. Then provide data for SPI device. Data need to be given in the form of structure. 
and that structure pointer is this arg argument. Interpretation of that data will depend on this request argument. We will see exact usage of IOCTL system call in. Next slide. Accessing SBI devices three step process. Step number one is open SBI device. Step number two is configuring of SBI device. Step number three is reading and writing to SBI device. Let us see these steps in detail. Let us consider that SBI device is connected to SBI0 interface. First step is to open SBI0 device. So, we will say open and root and dev and SBI0. And second argument is access flag. O underscore RDWR means we want to open SBI device read write mode. This open call will return handle to SBI device. Next step is to configure SBI device. Configuring means, for example, setting of SPI data transfer speed. And this is going to be done by IOCTL system call. The first argument is the SPI device handle. Second argument is the command. Because we need to set SPI data transfer speed. So the command will be SPI IOC WR max speed HZ. So, first argument will be F underscore SBI. And the second argument is the command. Third argument is SPI frequency, which is 2 MHz. There are many configuration commands for different settings of SPI device. For reading and writing to SPI devices, we have to use a predefined SPI IOC transfer structure. This structure is defined in SPI dev.h file. As you can see, we have transfer buffer and receive buffer elements in the structure. This is the length of data we want to transfer. And here is the speed of SPI device. Let us consider a practical situation. Suppose if we want to write 0 to 0xA register of SPI device, we need to prepare our 16 bit strings. str underscore temp 0 will get 0x0a and str underscore temp1 will get 0x00. We will fill SPI IOC transfer structure. TX buffer will point to str temp string. Length will be 2 because we are sending 2 bytes. Rx buffer will not point to anything as we are not going to receive any data. Finally, we will use IOCTL system call. We will use SPI IOC message request and pass our structure. This will send two bytes to the SPI device. And SPI device will interpret 16 bytes. Interpretation is that first byte which is 0A is the register. And the second byte is the data which is 0. And if we want to read from SPI device, simply read from Rx buffer element of SPI IOC transfer structure. For exact information about SPI device, read data sheet. For example, to understand interpretation of 16 bits, refer data sheet of MAX7219 chip. With this we are concluding our first part of SPI interfacing video. Stay tuned for the second and last part of this tutorial. Visit our website for more articles and tutorials. Visit us at www.embeddedcraft.org. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe to the Embedded Craft YouTube channel. We will meet in our next video tutorial. Meanwhile, goodbye and take care.